Well, hello everybody. This is Big Mama, and this is my very first ever attempt at a video, so please give me some grace. I want to show you my VIP journal and my TN, and um, Bonnie convinced me to do this, so please bear with me. I'm a little bit on the crazy side, so just warning you ahead of time. Here she is, or he is, because a little bit on the masculine side. Ta-da! So what I used was a discovery card application and that we got in the mail, and so it had several folds to it. And I had got from one of the online shops, I think it was uh, Coco Noel that I got this from. And so I just used my alcohol inks and dyed it the color of my lion. And when I sewed in the signature, I had the strings here, so I put beads on it. I guess that's not a little too much masculine, but it gives a little bit of oomph. And then the back, I used the paper here from Julie's kit. And <clears throat> welcome to the zoo. Uh, don't be afraid of the animals, because they are all, as you can see, behind cages. So nobody has to be afraid when they open this journal. So even though there's mom and dad and baby, and I think she's a little upset because he didn't bring any any food or he might have been wanting to know what's for supper. And she's like, don't you be giving me a hard time. I've been with the baby all day. He looks a little surprised that she's giving him some lip, but there it is. And then over on this side, I got the Leo the lion that was on the page. On the edge, what I've done is I've used some of the black metallic acrylic paint that I used, so you can see that there's some metallic in it to kind of grunge it up all over. And that also sealed off the edges of the paper when I glued it together so you didn't see the white. <coughs> that, I'm not going to edit out, that's just me, so I hope that that <coughs> won't get you. So now we're going to turn a little bit. I put... Um, my pocket on this side and so I've got a long card here where I've got some dictionary pages that have like about the lion and on all of my cards I make sure that there's a journaling spot and I use the big chief notebook and some notebook paper that I had coffee dyed and tea dyed and so there's that one and then I made this one here with the Leo the lion and I put some on him, the glossy accent, and then the little description of the lion. And then on the bottom one here, I have about the welcome to the menagerie. And again, I put the glossy accent on it and stained up the back because, you know, I like my grunge. And then the bottom I have where it's uh, off of the old atlas, I have the... Africa on there. Then on this part, I flipped it over. This is some paper that Bonnie had sent me that she had copy dyed. So I used that. And I didn't tie a bow because, you know, men, they don't tie bows. Um, the men in my life don't tie bows. I don't mean to assume all of them can't, but mine does. So anyway, now I used some more of the dictionary page. And it had Africa, and so I put the glossy accent on it to pop that and start out here. All of my paper, by the way, I took and put um, wax on, and so what I used was the paraffin wax. So here we go, and don't be afraid now, these animals are in cages, so here they are. So we have journaling spot here. Bonnie had sent me this paper where she had dyed it on a pizza pan, so we got pokey dots and some more places to journal. And then that flips out. And then I just use scraps of paper here with some washi tape to edge it. And then some more, I like a lot of writing places in my journals. And then here I have, it's an adventure. And there's uh, some cloth that I had, um, upholstery sample that I cut up. And here, I made these little buttons and they have, I put the little gold pin because Julie likes the gold pin. So I did the gold pin for Julie. Thank you, Julie. 
And so then her little person here, I have a vulture. If I can get him out, he's shy. So anyway, I put the vulture on here and he says, I'm not eating that. So he's got an attitude, but we'll let him slide this time. So then I've got some graph paper to where you can put like money if you got any or if you're having to pay it out. So this will be really long for me paying out. Very small. Does someone send me money? And then I got my little sloth. He's lazy hanging around. I got my monkeys here and they're just having a blast and send them to another country because they're making a mess in my house. And so, I'm not putting all the tags back in as I go along. <clears throat> so, I like to, on like music paper and stuff, I like to still see the music paper, but also give a journaling spot. So, I take tracing paper and with the glue stick, I glue that down so you can still write on it, but you can also see the music paper to give it a little interest. And then we got us a belly band because this is from Africa. If it was more like from the Middle East, it would have been a belly dancer band, but we got a belly band and got my little monkeys in their belly right there. And I used a uh, flash card. And so you can kind of see through with the paper that's scrunched up. We'll just put it over there and some more spots and we got another journaling card let's see what it says release come on so this is that other bird that we didn't know what to name it but he says life is an adventure so that's an adventure and then we flip it here and since i can't read upside down i hope you guys can read that all right, some more of her pokey dot paper. Thank you, Bonnie, for sending that to me. And then we have some more animals in cages, so don't be afraid they're in the cages. They're not going to hurt you. And then I love this, where you did this, Julie. I know that this is supposed to be ink saver, but that is just downright grungy looking. At. I love a grungy. So here's the lions and tigers. And what I did with that is I turned it, I didn't want to cut the elephant off. I'm not like Julie, I don't cut the butt off my elephant, so I made him fold over here. Yeah, I saw you do that at the VIP, Julie. So anyway, we got this right here that's just some stained up paper I did and made that to where you can journal on it. And then that's the back side of that paper. Um, the back side of... this one and then we have this pokey dots and then some more of Bonnie's paper a little scrap of it and so I took this material square again and when Terry was here she had given me some little cards like this thank you for coming all the way from London to Big Mama's house I appreciate that and so wildlife from Britain. I figured that, you know, Britain, they kind of like Africa too. So I know when my daddy was there in World War II, stationed in England, he had to go to Africa. So I figured that that was okay to put Africa and England together. And then this was some more of that paper. And I liked that this little scrap of paper I had had a globe on it. So that's why it's on there. I make a little journaling card because well because and so now we flip the page and again I like using the, the tissue paper so I grunged it up and I tried to use the colors that kind of go with my lion see lion color lion color and then over here Terry had also given me some paper actually what she did was she had it on the table and I stole it but she gave it to me and I'm sure there are some things that she took back to England that look a little bit like Big Mama didn't give it to her but she can have it she came all this way so there's a place you can journal just put down that money stuff if you want. If not, just lie about it. Write down figures your grandbabies aren't going to check on it years from now and see if you really had that much money. And more journaling spots. 
more journaling spots more journaling spots because it's a journal and more lion 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 colors on tissue paper well not tissue paper tracing paper and then over here i had this paper and i wanted to be sure and use julie's gold pen because she likes her gold pen and i wanted her to be oh like gold pen i love that gold pen and so there it is and so then I, I liked using the glossy accent on her printables because it just really made them pop out against the background. And so there's another little journaling card. And if anybody has an idea how to keep them bubbles off, I mean, I rub them down, rub them down, then they're back. It's kind of like that cellulite on my leg. Awful stuff. But... I wear long pants over it, and I figure when I flip this around, that cellulite's gone, and so nobody knows this. They're in there, they write on it, and whatever you're going to write on it is going to be so marvelous that nobody's going to notice in bubbles. That's kind of like the dresses I wear and the pants and everything. Cover that cellulite up, and everybody's like, oh, that's marvelous. That, I turn that around, it's marvelous. So anyway, now i got my little flip out again with the bubbles, and some more of that paper. And look, did not cut him in half. That was a Julie thing. He was already whacked when I was on the paper whacked. And then another journaling spot. And then here they are. Now this section here might scare you. Because if you'll notice, they're in the cage. But now we're going to go on a safari. So I want you not to be afraid while we travel in this last signature that even though they are free to roam, we're going to pretend like we're up in that Jeep with the bars around us and we'll be okay. So here they are, all of those critters. And we turn the page and we have a card that I got out of my... Uh-oh. One moment, please. There we go. So this was out of my 1938 World at War Atlas. And so here's what Africa looked like back then. I think it's, it looks good. And so anyway, I, I just flipped that around and made it a pocket. And then I also added a piece of paper to extend out the journaling spot because it's a journal. You can write in it because that's what we do. And then I have this paper here and another pocket. Shall we see what's in it? Why don't we do that? And I don't want anyone to judge me. I gave the gold pin dots on those other ones, but I didn't this one. And I hope that that's okay. But I did put some pretty enamel on it. I just forgot, Julie. I just forgot. I tried to take care of you the rest of the way. And so then here, just took the dictionary stuff. And then I also tore up a little bit of your, those little itty bitty square pieces that you had on the printable. And so that pops in there. And some more write down that money stuff. You may forget you got some. Or, hey, how about IOUs? Surely people owe you a lot of money. Put the IOUs in here. Oh, that's right, because you're probably going to go to somebody else. Well, men, they always keep track of who owes them money, so this is going to be full. So anyway, did I just say something bad about guys? Big ba big daddy don't. <laughs> well, maybe he does, and he don't tell me. Pretty paper. Thanks, Bonnie. Pokey dots. And then here I found in my stash of tissues. I don't know. Maybe I should show you. See all of that up there? Them's my napkins, my tissues, my power of paper. Tower of paper that gives me power. And here's that card. And then we're going to turn it over. And let's do it just one more time. Lion, 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 lion. Just thought I'd pull that one out. Oh, and you, you, you just got to read these. When, if these old, old books, this book was like in the 1918. It says, don't act foolish unless you want cheap reputation. So that's the reason why I never act foolish. I am always very, very serious. And I just want you to know, never, 
never act crazy. It might, you might get a cheap reputation. So. And looky here, look at this. This is this ledger I got 1951 ledger paper. Is that not the most beautiful colors and everything? It it was red on the other side, and so what I did was I just turned it into journaling space. But I love these colors. Okay, and so then here I want you to see what they how they wrote back then. It's like in English back in the 1950s, too. They were smart back then. They knew their numbers. He even shows how he ciphered that all out. I'm assuming it was a guy because of the handwriting. Because us girls, we put on our makeup. Lipstick, too. Did you see that? Eyeshadow. I am all made up just for this. But anyway, girls would have made sure that looked pretty pretty in case somebody come back and judged them. Journaling card. And notice my cats. Kitty, kitty, kitty. That. Gotta look at the other side. Cats. They is chasing, chasing, chasing. But I do believe he's gonna get away. Okay. So, anyway. And then up here it says our candy. Mm mm mm. Candy's good. So are our cigars. Pokey dots, and I grabbed this piece of paper, didn't realize that I had a fold on it, thought I might do something special to it, and I thought, <laughs> by the time you get to this point in the journal, after you've done writ all over it, you're going to get to that and go, well, who did that? Well, I can't throw it away now, I got all that special stuff in there, nobody's going to notice, so I'm going to leave it, and look at all that pretty next to it. Who cares about that line? Uh, anyway, I don't. I'll probably give it to my son, and he's going to just be so happy. He got something for Mama. He ain't going to care about that line. Especially if I give him enough money that he can write it down in this. <laughs> he ain't going to care. So anyway, now we're going to go back up here for your last little open-me-up pocket. And look at that. It says Africa. Africa. Look at that. Just in case you didn't know where them critters come from. Africa. This is like a safari. So, there you go. There's that. And look. A camel. Okay. Julie had a camel. And I had that material. And them camels. Look, look at that. That's a camel. Right there, camel. Well... For me, camels, I'm thinking more like the sand and the Middle East and everything. But I got out that world map, and guess what? The camels are actually in Africa, too. So, I got to put camels on here. I like my camel. Isn't he, isn't he just gnarly? Look at him. He's all dressed up and ready to go to the party. Yep, the VIP party. And some more of that. No, wait, I did this paper. This is me. I copied on this one. And I found some ribbon. And so I put it on that flap there. And we are at the end. Look at him. He's like, did you see everything you needed to see? So, now what I'm going to do, wish me luck, girls. I'm going to send this to somebody who's going to do something with it to maybe you can see it in the VIP. I can't thank you enough. You girls, all of you, I mean, you know, I just see your names. So maybe there are some guys out there under them names that make me think that they're my girlfriends. But you are definitely my friends. You're my family. And during that COVID thing, you helped me so much to not go into a deep depression. So I want to thank all of you for being a part of Julie's group because you have made this world's family the sweetest, the best ever. So from this big mama in Kansas, come over, put your feet under my table. I'll feed you, I'll love you, and I'll send you home. <laughs>